What's up everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom. Today, we are back on the Baby Buick. I got those tires in. Some of you guys saw that in the last video. You saw the little tire leaning up against there. Dead giveaway. This is what's happening. I got these off of Amazon. They're actually pretty cheap. I think they were like 68 bucks or maybe cheaper. They're scooter tires. They're kind of skinny. They got the fat whites. They're proportionate to like a big fat white wall on a car. But um, if you watch the other videos, you know my rims are kind of wide. So uh, this video, we're gonna, we're gonna get them on there one way or another. I don't know if we're gonna stretch them or, or what we're gonna have to do. But uh, thanks a lot for watching Make It Custom. Don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications. Let's get into the video. So the more and more I look at these wheels, I think, well, I know for sure that we could get them to stretch onto those. That we can do. My back tires, being ATV tires, are so wide. Like, look at how wide that is. It's almost as wide as my hand versus, you know, how wide this tire is. I think for sure we're gonna have to narrow the back. I kinda wanna narrow the front too. I think what we're gonna have to do is pull the wheels off maybe we'll try one of them on the front. I think, I think there's no real way around it. We're probably gonna have to widen them or uh, narrow them. There's kind of two good things that are gonna happen. One thing is the tires are gonna look better, you know, being a little bit more vertical and less stretched. And the other thing that's gonna happen is if I can narrow the rim from the inside to the outside, then I'll actually gain a little bit of foot room. You know, say if we took two inches off the inside of the rim, then we could gain a little bit of foot room. And I look at these tires and they're stamped. It looks like they're stamped, like maybe they're sandwiched and they're stamped. So maybe I can actually cut, like leave the bolt pattern and leave this rim on this side and just narrow the backside somehow. So that's what I'm gonna get started with. I'm gonna pull the junk out of here. I'm going to pull the body off, get the wheels off of it. And then we're just gonna have a look at the wheels and uh, make a decision as to whether or not we're gonna cut them, how we're gonna cut them, what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Okay, well I got the tires off. Front ones weren't too bad to get off. The back ones have a bit of a bead lock. You saw me use the drill press to break the beads on them. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. 
So they are pretty wide. I mean, this is the front tire and I thought maybe we could do a bit of a stretch over that. I still think that it'll, it'll look kind of funny. I definitely want to narrow these. This little recess in a rim is so that when you're putting a tire on and off, um, you can kind of put the beads in here and then stretch the tire over. So that's where we're gonna narrow it. And so we're gonna lose that. That's kind of a bit of a concern to me because you need a spot for the rubber to go into. I guess what I'm saying is that we're gonna have to leave a little bit there. Like we're gonna have to leave a little bit of that. I'm not exactly sure what the best way to do that is gonna be. We could, I guess, take away a little bit and just leave a sliver of a dip and we can still get the tire on. I mean, that's probably what we're gonna have to do is just be careful how much we take out of here. For the back rim, like, okay, here's, this is the front rim, there's the front. I'm definitely not gonna cut anything of the front. And you can see how they're welded together. They're two halves. This is a half, that's a half. They're both like kind of deep draw stamped. I'm gonna have to take it out of here and that's gonna bring the inside of the rim closer to the outside. So I could take a little bit off of that, maybe a couple inches. I think that would be nice. And then for the rear rim, this is the back side of the rim. That's the front side. There's the, there's the air right there. The new tires are tubes, so they're not gonna be tubeless tires anymore. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna pop these out, run tubes in them. So this one, we're gonna have to suck up this way and take it like that. So I, not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that yet because these are all tapered. It's not like you can just take a little bit of a flat section out and put it back together. I just don't know. Maybe we don't even need this. Like maybe there's a way to stretch that tire over and it doesn't need to drop in there. I just don't know. So we're gonna find out one way or another. It'd be easier if I had another pair of the front rims because I could just do them all the same. So the rear rims might still be a little bit wide. Maybe we throw these on the rear and then narrow those for the front. No, we can narrow these more. Front's gotta be narrow, narrow. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> One of the rear rims is pretty rusty. Anyway, I'm gonna start cutting these apart and laying it out and just trying stuff. Probably for the rear rim, I'll have to cut it in here so that the diameter is small enough that it can just slip over this a little bit. I mean, it's either that or I'd take it out of here and make a different strip. I just don't know. I'm gonna get the grinder and just try something. I don't even know what I'm trying yet, but we gotta do something.
All right, so we got them done for the front. You know, this is a go-kart. It's not trying to do 100 miles an hour down the road. So all I did to line these up was just square them up on the edges. Like all the edges, I squared them up, made sure that the height was the same all the way around. You know, I'm sure that there's a few thou off or something like that. But um, the beauty about the way that we cut it is that the bolt face and the outer piece, like everything that you see here, didn't get cut. So that's still centered to the hole, to the rim, like this side is perfect and could not have changed. So all I did was section a piece out of the back side and just move it in. That, like I was saying before, is gonna give us an extra almost two inches. I think I got an inch and seven eighths out of it. I almost have two inches more leg room that we were concerned about before. Plus the tires are a little bit smaller. So that's why like, I think I'm gonna have, a, you know, a much better time fitting my legs in there. So I'm, I'm really happy the way I did it. And uh, you know, I just welded it on the inside all the way around and now there's no burr to clean or anything for the tube. We still have the slot for the edge of the tire to fit in when we're popping the tires on, that's important. So I've been looking at the rear wheel and trying to decide how to do this. This side is the side with the nipple, right? So that side has to stay and this whole side needs to pretty much go like the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna flip this over so you see that's the front wheel. And if we wanted the same size rear wheel, I mean, we'd have to really cut it off. I don't want to cut through this and separate the halves. I wanna leave the double skin because there's two pieces welded together to make it double thick where the bolt face is. So I don't wanna lose that strength. So what I'm thinking now is to bust out the CNC and basically create a donut. Like I'm gonna cut this the same, just cut it right there, um, leaving the weld. So I might create a ring or maybe even create this bolt pattern in a plate, like another disc essentially that I can weld to here and then weld to, you know, the lip of this, like, so we can take out say that much. Yeah, so I'd like to take out that much. It'll be that the rear rims are just a, a little bit wider, like they might be half an inch wider than the front rims, but um, I think that's totally fine. And then the other funny thing is that, you know, that's gonna be our rim. It'll be like a negative offset, you know, deep dish steely, I guess. I don't know, kind of cool. So that's the plan. I'm gonna slice this right off, leave a little bit here, but slice it there and slice it there remove that section and then I'll create a plate and we'll just line it up as best we can that bolts to here with the bolt pattern and then lines up to here so that we can weld it all the way around. That's the plan. We'll just have to give it a shot.
All right, check these out. Don't those look sweet? I don't know if you're like me, black steelies on white walls, beauty. Black steelies on white walls, that's getting black steelies on white walls, that's getting black steelies on white walls. Well, Christina wants some uh, Kelsey Hayes wires for that later, so I won't see that. But uh, anyway, these turned out awesome. I love the profile of the tire, like it's not poking out too much, it just like fits the rim really nice. Those are the front ones. The rear ones, they turned out sweet too. They're like a total hot rod vibe because they're a tiny bit wider, just by a little bit. So we got some like big and littles going, but look at the deep dish on the rim. Like we've got this super deep hot rod rim and the backside is nice and shallow. So it's like a big time offset deep dish rim. Uh, it worked out pretty good here, you know, like the, uh, just cutting that out on the plasma and then just sandwiching it to the other side. I think that uh, it worked out awesome. Pretty easy way to do it. Tires went on okay. And uh, yeah, we've got that awesome look. And just like the fronts, this whole side of the wheel has not changed. So there's no way that this is gonna track wobbly or anything because that face and this whole dish and like right to the lip, that's uncut because the way the piece, like those rims are made is they're two pieces. There's a stamp side here and a stamp side on the other side. We only modified the other side. So everything's gonna line up great. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna polish up the little lug nuts. So we got some little chrome lugs and throw them on and then we'll get the body on there and see what it really looks like. I mean, would you look at it? Would you just look at it? How could you not love that? Those wheels, they just set it off. Because I like low things, I feel like this car could be just a little bit lower. You know, like maybe tail drag it a little bit. I don't know. Overall, I'm just so stoked that those white wall tires look right with those wheels. I like black steelies and white walls. That's, I'm simple, you know? But um, how narrow we got the tires and how they fit to the rims, how we've got, you know, just a half an inch wider tire in the back, but a totally different offset. You know, it's such a deep dish in the back. I think that's really cool. If somebody were to really look at it, you could tell that we've got them deep rims on the back. But uh, anyway, perfect size tires. Love it, love it, love it. It was relatively easy to do what we did there, narrowing them up. 
Um, you know, the way that we decided to do it, just kind of narrowing the backside, we got a little bit more leg room. If I look inside the car, we've got, you know, at least two more inches. So when I turn lock here, let me show you. I still have tons of room to get a leg on the other side of that. So we're probably gonna end up making some like inner fenders and inner panels. Like I wanna put door panels with the little cranks, like dummy cranks on it. I kinda do like a full miniaturized version of a real interior, get some carpet on the floor. That's the plan in there. So anybody that was asking about, you know, the tires hitting, I wanna be able to drive this and not fling rocks at us on the inside. We're gonna have to make like an interior sheet metal for this, like a floor and and panels and that kind of thing. But um, you know, that is the plan. As far as the wheels go, step in the right direction. I think it's so cute that we got little drum brakes on the front and stuff. I think it's just hilarious. Yeah, there it is. Just so stoked. I mean, tell me what you think. I'm considering all things for paint. You know, the chrome on this car is not that good and I'm not gonna get it re-chromed. That would be just so much money and I'm just not gonna do it. I was thinking about doing like a patina body on it. Like two-tone patina, kind of match the chrome a little bit, get some pinstriping on there. I don't know, that's just kind of me. Make it a little bit like that. The other thing I was thinking about was maybe doing like metal flake and patterns. And if we did do the chrome, maybe we get that paint on chrome, like get somebody to really do it. I don't know. I just, I don't want to spend five grand chroming all the little pieces on this thing. It's just too much money. So let me know what you think. I'm leaning towards patinaed and then like a really nice interior, like maybe like a metal flake custom interior that's like just popping, you know, really nice tires and, and rims, but then patinaed body and then a popping interior. I'm looking for suggestions. So uh, hit me up in the comments, whatever you think. But that's it for this episode of Make It Custom on the baby Buick. You know, I'm sure that we're doing my buddy Cam proud building this thing. I know that he would have loved seeing these white walls on here. That is for sure. Don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.